Hello, hello, hello. The truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. So this is the what the heck is going on series. So um, it's actually very, very simple what's going on. I'm not going to use all the uh, information that I have. Um, but, you know, I am friendly with uh, certain people in um, let's call it certain communities. And the bottom line is that, and this is, this is uh, they say, Baal Shem Tov says that geopolitical events are like a father giving a hint or a wink, he says, to a clever child. So what's going on is very clear. America is getting ready to eliminate um, Iran, and that's miraculous. It's completely miraculous. Um, I don't want to go into all the details, but the bottom line is that I believe, I truly believe that this is the coming of the Mashiach. Um, the Rebbe says, I saw this quite amazing, that if you attack a country that's creating weapons of mass destruction, then Mashiach will come. Um, when we think about the fact, I remember during the Gulf War, someone said an amazing thing to me. He said, look, God is using our friends to destroy our enemies. And here, Iran is a very serious danger to Israel. And um, it would, would be a very um, costly, God forbid, war that Israel, I mean, Israel could win. But from a technical standpoint, um, they have 100,000 rockets, just 100,000, that's not a joke, just in Lebanon. So we're dealing with a very serious foe. And now, with their... Um, insane predilection to violence. Um, Iran basically has chosen a suicide path um, and they realize that their um, objective of obtaining nuclear weapons and destroying the world, as it took me about a year or so to research this, but the reason they want nuclear weapons is because they believe, and they're obviously religious fanatics, that when the world will be filled with the blood up to horse's knee, the Messiah will come. That's the Shiite belief. And so everything is just amazing <laughs> when you think about what God is doing is that there are two things that really, if these are the two things we understand, that's just absolutely remarkable because the whole world is really here to give us free choice. And for there to be free choice, there has to be freedom. For there to be freedom, there has to be safety and a respect for individuals which is basically in kind of the Western thinking. And on the same time, there has to be protection from those who want to destroy us and our way of life. And simultaneously, God is doing both these things. And so our mission right now is to literally convert, which means Mashiach is about to come. And what's gonna happen when Mashiach comes is, whoever you are today, if I told you that forever you will have anything you need, but you have to decide today what you want to do forever, right? So there's no such thing as a need. Everything you have will be delivered to your door. You can imagine Amazon. I'm, I'm going to make free deliveries, Amazon, forever for you. So you have no needs, no physical needs. But I say, okay, what would you choose to do forever? So if you were to ask me that question, I've sort of come to the conclusion, it's both a passion and perhaps a calling, which is to extract meaningful insight from Hasidus, Jewish mysticism, and to share that. That's my mission. So if you had to ask me, what would you do forever? That is what I would do forever. Obviously, I would, you know, there are other parts to life. You have to be a good husband, a good uh, father or wife, a good mother. You have to be a good parent, uh, you know, you have to um, be a good son, you have to be a good brother, you have to be a good community member, etc. But those are all almost small details compared to, okay, what are you going to spend the majority of your time doing? And so therefore, um, um, this is, uh, just to make the caveat, obviously with a woman it's different. You know, raising children is the greatest thing that can be done, and that's why they don't have the obligation on time bound mitzvahs, which is an amazing thing because God gives them this, um, let's call it dispensation, because they're 
mission is the greatest. But for a guy, you obviously have to be involved in something productive. And so right now, you're, you're going to literally write down what your future is and think carefully because once Mashiach comes, which is very soon, it is the job description that you have undertaken. And it could be this moment, even if you don't, didn't do it, but God knows if you're sincere and you're going to do it, it counts. And you will be living not only a physically, but more importantly, a spiritually meaningful, therefore happy, productive existence forever.